Okay guys, this is the uh, worst case analysis and there's different types of worst case analysis. Uh, there's RSS, which is root square sum, uh, but the worst, worst case is EVA, which is extreme value analysis. So that's where we're going to emphasize. So the first part, in which is what Charlie's doing right now, He's doing the data or the parts database and he gets the initial tolerance they may be 1% 5% or whatever the case may be so that's a tolerance and then you also have drift tolerances in other words uh, how much do they change okay so I just want to say something about this since we're using ACT sats resistors okay what we're doing is we actually null out the initial tolerance so you don't need this parameters okay in other words the one percent we don't need that okay what we do need is the drift parameters which is what we're really interested in, okay and under the drift com uh, parameters there's going to be one that is due to temperature okay and the other one the second is due to aging okay so Charlie is doing these okay these two okay so you don't have to uh, maybe concern at this time on this but eventually you guys will learn this as well okay so then once we have the parts database, we have to do a SPICE model. Okay. And when we do the SPICE model, the second or the first step that we do, we have to do a sensitivity analysis. Okay. And let me see, what did I try to say here? As seen sensitivity assign okay okay assign sensitivity to all resistors so that means that each resistor has to have this uh, uh, temperature and aging parameter okay and since we're doing DC analysis when it comes to the caps tolerance okay we can neglect it okay for the time being unless you're doing uh, let's say a, a ripple analysis then you have to include the, the capacitors but in this case we're going to be doing a uh, WCA for an example on the 3.3 over voltage protection circuit okay so that's where we're gonna uh, do the example and since it's a transient of the 3.3 we don't have to do the caps okay once you assign the tolerances to the resistors then we have to model the op amp okay and under the op amp there's three parameters okay And those three parameters are VOS, I bias, and IOS, which is the input offset voltage. Okay. And once you have that, then you set up your analysis, your alter analysis, and that's how you're going to get your min, max, and so forth. Okay. So there's a little bit of a hand waving okay this is a little bit what Charlie is doing with the resistor database okay so uh, it's, it's not a uh, how can I say uh, this is kind of like a, a real quick over, overview okay so like I said the initial tolerance let's say if we get 1% resistor because we're using sats 
we can neglect that because we actually null out the one percent okay so we're only going to use the drift parameters and like I said in the drift parameters there's two parameters that we're interested the temperature okay and the parameter that you're looking for is the ppm's okay and it's usually ppm's per degree and then you have aging which is done by the Arrhenius equation okay so when we're doing temperature and this is the tempco they called it the tempco coefficient and this is how it's used okay so let's say if you have a 1k resistor and you know what the ppm is and you know what the temperature you're going to operate let's say in this case we're going to operate at 60 degrees and room temperature is 20 well when you plug in the numbers you end up with a new resistor value at the temperature that you're operating okay so what we're going to do is instead of calculating the actual value we're going to normalize this and basically we're going to set all of this or basically we're going to set this to 1 okay and in this example we're going to use a temperature range of negative 20 to 60 and we're going to assume that the uh, T nominal is 20 so basically you're going to have a plus or minus 40 degree C uh, uh, swing okay so in this example okay we're going to assume a temp go at 25 ppm and for the R resistance I we're going to assume a temperature of 60 degrees an ambient or nominal of 20 and like I said we set this to 1 ohm okay and so when we calculate it it's 0 0.1 percent so that's the number that you get and if you go to the other extreme let's say you go to negative 20 to 20 degrees okay you get a delta of negative uh, 40 and when you do the math it's 0 0.9999 or 0 0.1 percent okay so these are the numbers that you want to be using okay okay so second radiation effects usually we do that on some of the other components but in resistors there are no effects so we'll do that let me see I may have done this wrong okay let me see oh no no that's right that's right okay yeah okay so I'll make another video on uh, on the Arrhenius equation but for now let's assume that the result is 0 0.8 percent plus or minus okay 0, 0 0.02 percent okay so now we have this these parameters that one that one okay min and max and then you have the min and max of the aging so now we add them together okay so here this is the max so this is the component due to age and this is the component due to aging and so that would when you add up you get this number okay and when you add this you get that number okay so now you you can call this the drift maximum 
So now you're gonna what you want is you want this parameter, the end of life maximum, which is one plus this that goes there, and then the minimum, this one goes there. Okay, so you end up with these two equations. Okay, so these are the equations that you're going to multiply your resistor by. So let's say if you have a 1K resistor, you're going to multiply by the end of life max, which would be 1K times 1.003. And that will give you uh, a slightly higher resistance. Okay. And likewise, and this would be the uh, for the ma uh, minimum, you would get the EOL min. Okay, and that would be 0 0.997, and so forth. Okay, so those are the 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 parameters that we're going to using be using. Okay, so now we have to do a sensitivity analysis okay all the resistors voltage sources current sources need a sensitivity to be calculated and verify okay so how do you verify okay so what you have to do is you have to select and we're going to start with the resistors you have to select a part and you have to do a parametric step to see the effects on the output. Okay. So in this case, we're going to start with R6. Okay. And we want to monitor the VN. This is VN. And we want to know because this is the 3.3 uh, supply. Okay. And when the 3.3 goes above a certain number, a certain level, then the output changes right there the output changes so we want to plot that okay so how do you do that so what we do is we do the parametric step we put 0.6 or R6 okay in this case the resistor is 6650 so what we do is we do a, a, a list absolute and we increase it by 1k and then we do a simulation so let me go ahead and do that okay remember that this is uh, let me go ahead and just eliminate this and just say that that's the value so in this case I say R6 <coughs> R6 and we're going to go with I think I have to take curly brackets. Okay. Okay. And I don't think it did a parametric let me see parametric yeah let me do it again interesting oh I think I know 
it's a parametric and it's not it's a device okay don't do, don't do that mistake okay and as you can tell here the top is v in and the bottom is v out okay and you really don't have to measure but all you have to do is see this that it's 3.6 is here no 6.6 K so you have this voltage okay and if you notice as you increase the resistance the voltage that this changes state is a higher okay so that's being the case then I will label this as a positive okay so here's the simulation that I just did okay you can see that 6.65 you have this value 3.72 and if you increase R6 it's going to switch at 3.87 okay so in this case R6 is said to have a positive sensitivity okay so then we assign R6 a positive uh, subscript so basically we go to the schematic and to assign it we put a curly bracket okay and then POS dot or multiply and then close curly brackets okay so now you have that there okay so basically here in step number eight this is where I show we assigned it a variable as being as positive and in case it had done the opposite in other words let's say we had increased it and in increasing the voltage went down then it would be negative so we would assign a negative value but in this case it's positive okay and don't, and don't forget you have to put curly brackets okay so pa, POS is a global parameter okay so now we have to define it and what you do is you go to the text and you put dot param and I've already done it here so it's a dot param POS equals negative oh no P POS equals one okay and then at the same time go ahead and do dot param neg equals one okay so you have those already labeled okay so now you do the same steps basically six six seven eight and nine to the rest of the resistors okay once you do all the resistors you should have or you should have a re uh, your schematic basically each resistor has its positive negative positive negative 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 positive negative positive and so forth okay the only resistor that I don't have defined is this one because there's several other resistors uh, that are composing this but for the most part all of these resistors are already defined okay so that brings us up to here okay so once we have that we have to go to the dot CIR file okay and we want to copy the file okay and we will copy the file and so basically you're gonna to go to simulation CIR and you would copy basically everything that has a positive neg 
Okay. Copy it. And then you go to setup and you do the parameter. So I already have it done here. It's my my simulation is basically ready to go, but I just want to show you that if you did, don't have it, what you do is you erase what is not selected. Okay, now here I'm going to go ahead and erase this because this is not, we haven't covered this, but these would be the resistors. They're all defined as negative and positive. And what you do is you do a dot alter and you paste all the resistors. Okay, and then you put another dot and then you paste another set of resistors. Actually, hang on, before you do that, just paste, do the dot, alter, and then just paste the resistors for right now. Okay, so basically you're going to have this. Okay, and like I said, then you add the dot, alter, and then on the second line you that you add the POS okay and you put the neg any G and these parameters are these parameters there are your end of life these Okay, so let me, so you can say, you can say that this is the POS parameter, is the end of life maximum, and neg is your end of life minimum. So we defined it to be 1.003 and we define this to be 0 0.997 okay so okay where am I okay so we're here so there are added there and there okay so now once you have that, you highlight all of this and you copy it and you paste it down on the bottom again. Okay, so these should be identical. Okay, and the top will be your maximum parameter or the end of life. Hang on, these would be your end of life max and this would be your end of life minimum okay so now you just have to do one simple uh, transformation you want to change these two okay you want to make this into negative in other words NEG and this into POS okay so you'll see so basically it says to make a minimum you have to change the POS to neg and the neg to pass and then you add a dot end to the last so basically if you notice here this is positive and this used to be positive so now it's labeled neg so basically what you're doing is you're switching the variable okay you're making uh, positive in this case is 1.003 in this case positive is 0 0.997 so it, it's it, it's lowering the coefficient and then don't forget you put your dot n okay so now you're ready to simulate and keep in mind that this will only give you the EVAs due to the resistors 
Okay. We still have not included VOS, iBIOS, and I offset. Okay. So now you do a simulation, and again you plot your VN and V out, and now you're going to get three plots. You're going to get your nominal, your maximum, and your minimum. Okay. So the, these are the results. So once you have that, then you have the resistors already set up, and you're you're halfway there. Okay. So now we have to add the parameters to the op app. Okay. So we have to add VOS, I bias, and I offset. Okay. So be sure you add a current source and you have to do the curly brackets and be sure you type this equation which is I bias minus IOS divided by 2. And this you assign it to the not, uh, to the inverting input. Okay. And you also do the same for the non-inverting. You do uh, curly brackets I bias plus IOS divided by 2. Okay and make sure that the arrows are pointing in a downward direction or toward ground okay and then you add VOS so you dot you put a curly bracket VOS so now we have to do a sensitivity analysis on each of these parameters okay now for the example that I'm using I'm going to use VOS as 1 milli, one millivolt a I bias of 100 microamps and an offset of 10 microamps. Okay, so now we do the same thing that we did for the resistor values. Okay, let's see where it is. Okay, remember on the resistors we did a, uh, a parametric step. Okay, in this case we know that VOS we initially assign for it to be one millivolt okay so when we do parametric sweep this is what is called a random and meaning that it can be the, the 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 voltage or the polarity of this can either be positive negative or the reverse we don't know what this is so that's random And also, I bias and I OS is also random, okay, meaning they, they can switch polarities, okay. So, in that case, what we enter is we enter here. If you notice the first step, it's a list, absolute, and we do one millivolt, and we do a negative one millivolt, okay. And when we do the simulation, you can see the positive is this one. That's one millivolt. And if you notice, one millivolt gives you a a positive uh, increment in the input voltage, and a negative gives you a negative increment. Okay, so now we know that VOS is positive. Okay, now we do the same thing. Basically, do the same procedure for the I bias and also for the offset voltage. Okay, and once you know what the polarity is, okay, in this case, these will increase the voltage and so since it increases the voltage they're defined as the max okay so in this case it's a, this is a positive number okay so then for the minimum you make it a negative likewise i bias maximum 
turn out to be that to increase the uh, uh, the the voltage the over voltage a negative voltage or a negative current will increase the voltage so likewise on a positive actually decreased it so that would be the min minimum and so forth same thing with the offset so now these you had already de defined and you had to find your resistor values right there and right there so now what we do is we insert these parameters in here and if you notice they're added right there VOS positive a negative 100 and then negative 10 and so forth okay so remember all of this that's your maximum max okay and then this is your min okay so here the OS is negative 1 so basically it's the opposite polarity of whatever this is on top okay so you're almost there okay so now now that this is defined this is max this is min so now we want nominal so how do you do that okay so now what you do is you want to change these VOS you want to set that to zero I bias to zero and so forth and that to zero and then your positive and negative you set them to one so these will give you your nominal values okay and once you do that then you're ready for EVA final simulation and you should get something very similar to this let's go ahead and uh, see if we can simulate it okay that's set to zero everything's initialized okay so now we come in here we zoom and you can zoom on this okay and I put the cursor here <laughs> right there <laughs> and that's close to 3.62 and then we can come here 3.70 and then we can come here set it to where, where it starts the transition right there that would be 3.78 okay at least that's close enough okay and I think I have that already these values so these would be your your values so then this is what you're gonna record on your analysis you make a plot you plot this and you make a little table and then your max 3.824 your nominal 3.724 and your min 3.619 okay so you need a plot and then a little table stating what your actual voltage is okay so now this is for the most part this is probably like 80 percent 90 percent I believe that uh, we've never done the diodes before typically we only do the op app and the resistors and in some cases the capacitors but uh, it looks like we may be adding diode values so basically if you're gonna add that diode values we're gonna do basically the same thing you do a sensitivity analysis to see how the diode the drop across the diode how it affects your output and then once we know if it's positive or negative then we assign it accordingly okay hopefully this makes sense I know it's a lot that's why I made the notes and I also try to make the video that way 
uh, it'll make a little bit of sense.